Hi, I'm Gillian, and I have done this look for you today. Um, it's a favourite going out look of mine, and it is mostly using two um, Mac Mineralize eyeshadows. Um, this one's called Smoked Ruby, and this one's called Jade's Fortune. I think they're both really pretty colours. They're both mixtures of colours. Um, beware at the end of the video. I say I'm done, but I'm not actually done, and I come back and add on some eyeliner. Um, but apart from that, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I don't want this video to go on forever so I've already done my face and I'm just about to do my eyebrows. This is MAC Brow Set and the colour is Beguile and it's like a little mascara wand. I just pull that through my brows and it holds them in place and adds a little bit of colour as well. Um, as usual I'm going to use my Painterly Paint Pot but I'm just kind of going to use it above the um, eyelid. Because this is such a dark and heavy look I'm going to use a dark base on the eyelid but I still want to prime the top bit of my eye. I want a really dark base so I'm going to use, this is um, Fluid Line Gel Eyeliner and the colour is Black Track which is black. And I'm just going to put this on a flat brush and put it all over my eyelid. I'm going to just avoid the very inner corner because I want to lighten that up with something. I don't want that too dark. And I'm just creating the shape that I want with the Side corners. That's so messy. But I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to blend the top of that out just so that it's not such a messy line. It's going to get covered by eyeshadow anyway. Um, what I want to do is take it on the very tip of the brush because I want to bring it underneath as well. First eyeshadow I'm going to use is this one called Smoked Ruby. It's one of the mineralized eyeshadows. And I'm going to take it on a flat brush, this is 239, and get some of the mixture, get the red and the black colours, and I'm pressing it all over the lid where I put the black base down. And it makes a lovely rich colour. It's such a pretty colour. I'm going to take some on the tip of the brush and I'm going to run it underneath the eye. Now I've some, dropped some bits on my face so I'm just going to take um, a brush to flick those away. Now with the next colour which is called Jade's Fortune, this is what it looks like, again it's got lots of colours in it, it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to take that on a 217 blending brush, I'm going to swirl so that I get all of those lovely colours. I'm going to take this in the crease and just blend it at the edge of the last colour that I put down.
also want to do is put it under the color I put down below. Um, next, I'm going to take um, the pigment Naked and on a big brush, I'm going to use this to um, put above the eyeshadow I've just put down. And then on a smaller brush, I'm going to use it on the inside corner a little as well. Now, if I am going out, um, I think it's pretty much impossible to go out without wearing some glitter. So this is um, MAC Reflex Pearl. And with the same uh, blending brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it on the inside corner. I don't want to take away from the darkness over the eyelid and you know, the smoky eye, so I'm just going to put this just a little on one side. There's not a lot of point of putting liner on because um, the eyelids are so dark that it's not going to show up anyway. Um, what I will do is use a black pencil to line the waterline. This is Smolder. just the top and bottom waterline and this look would be ideal for false, false lashes but I don't really do false lashes basically because I can't um, so I'm going to just try it with loads and loads of mascara I don't have the um, lip gloss that I used to always wear with this. It was a Dazzle Glass from MAC and it was called, I think it was called Rags to Riches or Rags and Riches and it was like pale baby pink but with blue sparkle through it and it just was really nice for this. And uh, I don't really have anything that pink anymore so I'm going to have to use, um, this is Hot Tahiti. I'm going to just put on a light bit of this. This is a benefit um, lip gloss called I'm with the band and I know that you don't get this anymore it's not even really that pink either I'm gonna have to get that MAC Dazzle glass again next time up that's on the list I know I said I was finished and everything but um, the more that I look at this I think a wee bit of liner wouldn't actually go on this so um, Put in with an angled brush and that black track fluid line, and I'm just gonna, I think, trickle it at the outside corners, it would help. So I'm just winging it out a bit. never looked at it, I think it just looked a bit unfinished at the edges. Now I'm going to see if it's at all possible to get more mascara on there. You can use white lashes and you can just do several coats of a mascara. And I've just found the MAC Dazzle Glass that I was talking about. You can see it's empty. I'm not getting any more out of that. And it is called Rags to Riches. Um, I thought I'd actually take this back to MAC, but it's obviously in the next lot to go. Um, this colour I really liked wearing with uh, this eye look. So I'm definitely getting another one of these next time in MAC. Um, but I think that is me finished this time. Um, I think the eyeliner there did help actually, even though it's a really dark eye. Particularly just for the outside corners to give a bit of definition. Um... So thanks for watching. Bye.